Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eric Langkamp, also known as Tricky Hunter. I know it's been a little while since my last update, uh, but I give you the latest and greatest, uh, which will actually be swiftly replaced here, not uh, hopefully this week. Um, I've still got a few things to work out, and I've got the mechs to add in, but one of the major features now is this game mode selection system. Uh, so now there are three different... Um, radius maps and also up to a uh, 4v4 uh, that you can select from for uh, the number of mechs. It is still just the griffin, um, but of course you are now able to have more than just uh, two on two and you can go back to one on one if you like. Um, so we're currently waiting for my tricky account to load up, but you'll notice uh, that it still says the name of the game, and it's glitching there for a second there. I've had this before, um, but anyway, uh, it says the name of the game, and then it gives you the uh, radius and the type of match that it is, and when you join, just like always, uh, you have the full match uh, pop up. So this is one of this is the largest map that you currently have available to you. This is a 20 radius map, uh, so center point. So it's technically 40 across here. Um, it's going to take a long time for you to get across this map, of course, um, but you now have the ability. Uh, to select different sizes. Um, I will be putting in the ability to select uh, multiple mechs uh, and a variety of mechs. The first step is of course going to be to put the two that I have in, the Hunchback and the Griffin, and then I'll be adding in other features. Uh, one of the things that I need to upgrade some of the user interface to make this work uh, for some of the other mechs, uh, because the Griffin and the uh, and the Hunchback uh, don't have more than four weapons, and the user interface is literally built uh, for four weapons or less on the mechs because I was doing it quickly. So I've got a bit of an update to do there, but not a big deal. Um, so give this one a try. I'm going to be getting this version up here tonight. Um, go ahead and test it out. Try it. For those of you who are part of the Patreon, um, I am working on getting a special uh, account uh, and system set up uh, for you guys to have usernames and passwords to be able to get access to the development build and I'll be likely doing that this week as well. Might have to launch a separate website for that or uh, something to that effect because the current website technically isn't built to handle it. So as always, if you have any questions or thoughts or ideas, feel free to get in touch with me via Facebook or um, or Discord. You can also, please, if you have bugs or feature requests, please do so via the forum on the website. So as always, you guys have a good one, and uh, I look forward to seeing what you guys think of this new version. Have a nice one.